Hi, my name is Tony. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the settings available to us in Synology's LiveCam mobile app. If this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. That being said, let's hop over to the computer and get started with today's video. Looking at the live cam from left to right, we have four icons going across the top of the screen and four icons going across the bottom of the screen. We'll look at the top icons first and then jump down to the bottom as well. Starting from left to right, the first icon is a flashlight and it just basically allows you to turn on and off the camera's flash. The next icon is a screen lock icon. By default, the app will lock your screen after one minute. Now that can be changed in the settings, which we'll get to in a second. But if you wanted to manually lock your screen, simply press that icon. Now you can see the screen is locked. To unlock the screen, simply press and hold the blue padlock and the screen comes back to life. The camera icon allows you to take a photo or a snapshot of what's currently on the display. The next icon in the upper right hand corner is the setting icon. Let's click that. Here we're presented with the same options, basically the same options that are available in Synology's surveillance station software when using a regular surveillance camera. The camera name can be changed. The stream settings can be adjusted. You have the option of enabling the front camera on the device. However, in doing so, the rear camera becomes disabled. So for now, we're just going to leave the front camera set to disabled. You can turn on and off the audio. You can set your resolution. You can set your frame rate. You can also set the quality of the stream. You can turn on and off video stabilization. You can enable on-screen display. We'll just leave that disabled for now. There are a couple of system settings as well. Here's the auto screen lock. You see it's set to one minute. You can set it to 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or set it to never lock the screen. We'll just leave it set to 1 minute for now. Under event detection, you can set your motion detection settings. Now by default, it's enabled. But you also have control of the sensitivity and the threshold. You have control of the recordings on the surveillance station. You can rotate by days, which is disabled. Rotate by size, and you can see Oops, sorry. You can see it's set to 10 gig. And then you can also select where on the Synology surveillance station you want the footage to be stored. Let's look at the bottom icons now. The first icon lets us know that we're in camera view. The second icon will let us look at the recorded footage. If you select a particular piece of footage, you can see it. You can scrub through along the timeline on the bottom. The next icon says snapshots, and that's where all the photos are stored that were taken through the live cam app. If you select one, you have the option of deleting the image by using the trash can icon, downloading the image to the phone, or locking the image so it can't be deleted. And finally, under more, we're presented with a minimal amount of options. You could see the NVR information. You have the option of unpairing your mobile device with Synology's surveillance station. If we click on settings within this area, we just have the option of configuring a passcode or turning on and off usage analytics. And if you scroll all the way down, there's just some information about how to get help, how to get support the privacy statement, and the version of the app that's being used at the current time. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thanks, guys, for using those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. 
Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.